At that time, uh, Audrey Hepburn, there's Audrey Hepburn. She was thin as a rail, and she was eating the same stuff that I was eating to take off weight to put on weight. And she was eating it with, with her food and stuff. Anyway, we had lunch together all the time, and we, we were both drinking the same thing, except uh, I was doing it to take off weight, and she was eating it over and above to put on weight. And we were taking the same stuff. And um, was she I, nice to work with? Oh, wonderful! Yeah, she was. She was about as nice a person I've ever met. And while I was down there doing that, I parked my van while I was exercising some cats in front of some cottages there. To Param and Bing Crosby came out, and he saw the sign there says "Cranky and Trained Dogs, Working Cats, and Clever Critters." And I'd worked with him in the Emperor's Waltz, and he says, and I'm standing there, he said, Frank in. He says, I wonder how old Stay is. I'm always hollering, Stay at the dog, you know. And I said, well, I guess I've changed a little bit. And they looked, and we talked. And, uh, and, and so Bing and I became best friends. We, one time we, we were doing a commercial and it had a bear in it, and he was, working in it, and we just sat and talked and talked and talked. He'd sent me over with his chauffeur when his kids were very young to entertain them with the dogs we had in the Emperor's Waltz. And so Bing and I was great friends. And uh, uh, anyway... Uh, How many cats did you use for uh, breakfast at Tipsy? I used probably a half a dozen. I had, I had a dozen there, but I used at least half a dozen. Any particular uh, tricks uh, or scenes? Well, they had to, they had to uh, one time jump up and uh, see itself in a mirror and spit and spat, and had to do some long jumps and run. Had to work in the rain. Uh, it was um, it was quite a challenge, but it worked out good. How do you keep a cat uh, focused? when uh, there's a bunch of people around, cars going by, or there's rain? Well, see, I had one cat was, I called a Freddy cat. It looked just like all the rest of them, except I would put the crate at the end of his run, and then I'd go take the cat out. There could be dozens of people walking by. It could be raining, could be anything. And when I turned him loose, zip! He run through the legs, through the rain, through anything, and end up in that crate. And there was food there. He was scared to death. Otherwise, I stomped my feet or anything, you know. Had the dog bark. And he'd take off. But he'd end up in that crate. So that was real good for a scene like that, you know. And then I had cats that would just rub your legs and 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 lick your arm and, and clean themselves and... So each cat had a different purpose. Yeah, some of them do two or three different things. At first, it was just a different purpose for each cat. I, uh, I uh, one time said it was easier to train uh, uh, a dozen cats to do one thing a piece than to train train one cat to do a dozen things. You know.